Yeah! yeah. Uh, one more time for Gene and the Comedy Co. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. All right, what's up, guys? My phone auto corrects NJ to BJ. <laughs> it's like she knows me so well. I only ever date skinny gals. You know, just in case I ever have to hide a body. Just don't have to lumber, you know, trying to get rid of it, didn't you? you know. And you all watch the ACMs, the Academy of Country Music Awards. It's pretty good, pretty good show. Gave me some serious beard envy. You know, a collection of some of the greatest beards in history. Yeah, Dirk Bentley, Brothers Osborne, Chris Stapleton, Nicole Kidman. <laughs> yeah, that's mostly a Tom Cruise joke. It's a little, little bit of Keith Urban joke, too. A little bit of Keith Urban joke. That's awesome. Uh, she's one hell of a beard. Isn't she one hell of a beard, that gal. Where's uh, Matt Dittis? I'm going to up Matt Dittis. My nephew, my nephew. My nephew. <laughs> That was happy touch. That was happy touch. No, I agree with him. You know, he does kind of look like Jesus, doesn't he? You know, but like after 40 days and 40 nights. <laughs> right around there. Right around there. Oh, oh, awesome. Love, man. Love. Uh, I give a love. Where's, where's my man and the other virgin for the WrestleMania guys? <laughs> there you go. I, can't, I don't know where they are. Brian, I think. God damn it, no, I'm not Ted Kaczynski Jr. <laughs> Nick, is a uh, cracker less offensive, or is you okay with that one? I prefer hockey. Hockey. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's my other Nick? My Nick, my man, with the spicy mustard jumper. I like that shit. Yeah. What's up, man? Spicy. <laughs> oh, you don't have to worry about it because everything you say sounds gay. So it's like, okay, just a little bit, just a little bit. I'm just kidding. Love y'all, man. Love you guys. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. I was just curious what uh, like PB and Jizz uh, taste like. What's that? Like before or after? <laughs> <laughs> no, it went the PB and J's part. Like once you get her in there, PB. tasty is it? Well, yeah, a little salt. Oh yeah, I like that shit. Just curious. I like collecting data. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think, like ever? <laughs> Does anyone ever think anymore? What the fuck's going on? Do you ever have to give your turn like one of these, you know, like you know, give one of them just to get it to do its job? I mean, like, I wish we could do that with the millennials. Fuck it, give the goddamn phone. God damn it, kids. <laughs> nah, I can't do that shit. Fuck it, we'll do it. I know you can't tell it by looking at me, but I spend 90% of my day in the profound, <laughs> and the other half in the profane. <laughs> What I mean is I spend a lot of my day writing about philosophy and how mathematics applies to life. And the rest of the day, I'm making dick jokes. <laughs> you know, talking about skinny jeans or shattering a 25-year-old's pelvis. <laughs> and I had this girl give me uh, the greatest compliment and the greatest kick in the nuts in the same night. You know, I got to talking to her, and she's like, you can make words dance. I was like, oh, shit, that's something. That's a pretty good compliment, right? Then later on in the night, she's like, there's no words for your dancing. <laughs> you know, I got that white boy shit. You know what I mean? I got that white boy shit going on there. When I dance, it looks like I got a speech impediment. <laughs> I recently learned when a black girl says, can I say something real quick? She means sit the fuck down and get some snacks. <laughs> you know what I mean? like, she's going to let you know in every direction possible what you fucked up. <laughs> I think she's still talking about it. <laughs> we ain't Latina ladies, I like the Latinas too. No, I would do that another time. <laughs> Did you ever get your pecker caught on a windowsill? <laughs> Nobody in there? When I was younger, I had to jump out of a gal's bed and out her window so quick. Cause she's like, Dad, it's home, and she freaked out. The most impressive part was her superhuman strength, like lifting me off of her. And I pulled off like some skateboarder move, like an ollie dick flip. I just bounced right <laughs> off her. But she pushed me out the window and it caught right on the windowsill. Oh my God. I flipped out, I rolled. I ran to the back of the yard with one shoe and a rusty Wallace hat. I was running in the backyard, my pecker's like flapping against my belly button. <laughs> I thought it was a good story. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs>
Do you ever get to thinking like, damn, sometimes girls ask the dumbest questions. You know, like the other day, I was like, my penis is in your mouth. And you're doing this here maneuver, you know, this number that they do and make it disappear and shit. <laughs> the fuck do you mean do I like this? <laughs> you couldn't tell? <laughs> Like every time your tongue hit that nerve in the tip of my pecker, and it started doing that Olympic springboard diver shit, you know, bing, 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 you know how your pecker does. <laughs> Y'all need to get your dick sucked more, man. It's incredible. Get out the fucking house. Stop swiping love into your life. Get the fuck out of the house and start smashing ass. It feels good. I love y'all, man.